Okay, everybody, I have one of these 10 by 10 canopy pop-up tents. Had this thing forever. Used it at the beach, camping. Um, well, not camping at the beach, but anyway, at the beach for the sun, up in the mountains for camp camping. Used this thing a lot. Got my money's worth out of it, but it's starting to leak. Never waterproofed it. It's been great. Last uh, year when I went camping, of course, it starts water, uh, started leaking. I also have one here. This one was leaking, so I was gonna waterproof it. Should have done it last year, I didn't. But also, I'm waterproofing the uh, tent rain tarp. So I got a lot of waterproofing going on out here. Well, then I got thinking about this canopy. I have it the lowest, but I can't reach up to the top. So, watch. Even if I come down here, and sure, I could spray up there and have the overspray get it, but I think what I'm gonna do is tip this on the side and then just waterproof it that way. I'm just gonna go underneath, tip it, we'll give it a try. Um, just remember when you do this, I have each corner locked in the little pin and then also Velcro, you know, the cross beams, whatever they're called, I don't know. So let's give this a try. Okay, everyone, this is what I'm going to use. I haven't tried it before. Seems like some good reviews, so I'll give it a try. Just to let you know, we have a, I don't know, 12-person tent. It's a massive tent. But this is the rain tarp, and I used one and a half cans of this. Um, one can, oh, crap. I think it was just a little over one can. Um, did one coat and then I went through with the second coat so total you know one half cans I don't know something like that so I only have two cans left so I'm hoping that I can do one can per this canopy because I have two canopies so we'll give it a try Okay, what I did is turned it up on the side in 10 by 10 canopy. This thing looks massive on the side. Look at that. But as long as the wind isn't blowing, it's good to go. So what I'm gonna do, and I've never done this before, but you can see this thing is massive. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave it like this and I'll be able to reach up out to here Go all the way over, spray all this, and then of course at the bottom, and then once it's down flat, I'll be able to spray up there no problem. So this idea might work. So we'll give it a try. wind picks up this thing starts tipping over so just read the directions um, if you get too close it runs just like paint so you know keep your distance I think it says seven to ten inches away um, and it doesn't take much I'm just gonna do a quick coat like I said I only have two cans of these so I'm gonna try to use the whole can um, for one can one can of this pretty much did one coat on the 10 by 10 canopy um, I kind of rushed through it just to make sure I had enough. So you could totally, if you don't go crazy with it in one spot, one can will cover this one coat. They recommend doing two coats. So I think a good can and a half will cover one tent of these. And then, um, like I said, one and a half cans would cover this uh, rain tent. So. I only have one can left. I may just end up spraying my other canopy and then going out and buying a couple more cans 
as long as it's not gonna rain um, just get a double coat on it because everyone knows it's a pain in the butt when you put these things up and they leak okay everyone um, like I was saying this is what I'm using so this review I guess it's not a, a review I'm just showing you how to do it or how I'm doing it so I got two canopies in this tent so I think what I'm gonna do is post the video of how I'm putting this stuff on and then after I go camping if it rains I'll do another video and show the um, after like if it holds the rain out so I'll be able to do it for the tent and both canopies this canopy is probably about eight years older than this one this one both from Walmart this one this one the gray one has a lot better built quality than this white one this white one is junk it's already aged it's more like dog years and that's human years if you know what I mean so after camping if it rains I'm gonna post another video and I'll go back and put the review link onto this link video um, yeah we'll just do that so make sure you subscribe and go from there and you'll get the noti notification when we do the testing of it because I don't want to spray it with the garden hose because I gotta let it sit for what 48 hours whatever it says